everyone, I'm Valerine. And Thomas. We are here at We Do Workshop Bali, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can make polygonal molds for the sheet press, so you can make polygonal sheets like this. Let's go. Hey, recycling community. So this is the first ever community video that we publish on this channel. And we want to do more of this, where we go and ask people in the community how they do things. Because we know that you guys out there are creating incredible innovation and invention and recycling knowledge and molds and machines and know-how. And I think it's incredibly valuable that this knowledge is shared back to Precious Plastic and the ecosystem at large. So today I'm really excited to get the folks at We Do to share how they make polygonal sheets. Because they've been a very active workspace in Bali, Indonesia, making tons of machines for the precious plastic community and generally creating a lot of very valuable knowledge of machines. And if you are interested to make some video, make sure to get in touch because we very much welcome more videos from the community. And I really hope that you enjoy this video and get tons of knowledge from this. Step one, to gather all the tools and materials. For this project, you will need a laptop with any drawing software, a ruler, measuring tape, marker, welding tools, welding helmet, glove, and all your safety gears, angle grinders, two by two centimeters galvanized steel. And to make the sheets, you will need a sheet press, a weight scale, and clean and shredded plastic of your choice. Step two, draw. All right, so the first step is to go to drawing software that you have. In this case, I'm using Rhino, and you can use AutoCAD or Illustrator, or PowerPoint even. And the first thing to do is to determine the size of the sheet press that you have. And in this case, ours is uh, 1220. And then we offset that by the tolerance. So by seven centimeter. And then usually for square, we just offset that again by two centimeters. But the difference with polygonal is you're going to draw the polygon inside of this square of tolerance. And in this case, it will be okay. And then offset that again by two centimeter, which is the thickness of the galvanized steel that we're going to use. And from here, you can get the dimension of each part of the polygon really easily and also another useful thing from this is when you are trying to determine how much plastic that you need to make the sheets you can calculate that super easily by the area of this if you're usually making a square you can just calculate the percentage of materials that you need so you're saving materials as well step three cut your components so now we have all the dimensions, we just need to cut everything to size and my friend Komang will help us cut and weld the pieces. After drawing and determining the measurements, cut the 2 cm hollow galvanized steel according to the size with the angle grinder. To do this, we have a tip is to draw the measurement with an erasable marker for better precision before cutting. When you have all the sides of the polygon, draw out the 1x1 one one template of your sheets to make sure the angles and dimension line up and adjust accordingly. Step 4. Weld. Weld all the sides to connect the ends together to make your polygonal sheets. Five, finishing. Afterwards, finish them by grinding the excess welding materials with angle grinder. This step is very crucial to make sure the mold is completely flat against the sheet press. Otherwise, you will damage the steel plate or the plastic will bleed outside of the mold because it is thicker than it's supposed to be. Step six, make your polygonal sheet. Now that your mold is ready, it is time to make your first polygonal sheet. The tip is to use the area of your polygon from the drawing to calculate the exact amount of plastic needed to make the sheets.
All right, everyone, that concludes our how-to videos on making polygonal sheets. And I hope you guys try to make this mold yourself and I would love to see your results. Thank you.